Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Breeze coming at you with a new NBA 2K16 tip. Today guys, I'm coming in hot with some fire, showing you how to get a 99 overall my player in a very short amount of time. Game just came out today for everyone on Tuesday, and I already have a 99 my player, and I could have had it a lot sooner. I just got it today, but I really haven't been grinding that hard. If you grind hard guys, you can get this in one day if you grind really hard. The first thing you wanna do is just go to your gameplay settings and make sure your game speed is on 100. Your difficulty doesn't really matter. Now you're gonna go and load into a game and just to give you guys a heads up, you are going to be spending more time loading in and out of the game than you actually are going to be spending in the game. So <laughs> just be prepared to cope with the loading times. I suggest you know pulling up Netflix, pulling up a stream, pulling up my videos, and just watching while you're grinding, you know? That's all you really gotta do. And yes, by the way guys, I know this is my first 2K video of the year. I wanted to come out with some fire for my first video, but I have so many videos already pre-recorded, so many tips that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. If you guys thought I posted a lot last year, well, <laughs> I did not post a lot last year compared to how much I'm gonna post this year. I'm gonna be grinding. But anyways, guys, getting right into it, all you have to do is just foul out, just like last year, but luckily 2K, you know, helped us save some time with the fouling out this year. They actually added a lot of new foul out animations so we can reach out and we can actually grab the player and we can foul out a lot easier. So you're just going to hold X or square on your controller and you're pretty much just going to keep fouling out of the game. Now, this is why I recommend having it on Rookie. So that way you can make most of your shots and you can just foul them on the inbound. If you have it on Hall of Fame, you're going to have to try to foul them on the break. So it's up to you, you know. If you, It depends on how quickly you want to get out of the game. If you want to get out of the game quick, just put on Rookie, get the ball in offense, run up, make your shot, and then just foul them when they inbound the ball. It's a pretty good tip right there. And then really, guys, it just turns into an A spamming fest. Really, all you need is your A and X button or your X and square button. <laughs> you just spam A and hold X. And now we have to wait to get through this whole post-game show that takes forever to skip. You spam A, spam X as much as you can, and it just kind of takes a while to skip through. But once you skip through it, guys, you can then advance back to your main menu. And once you get back to your My Court, guys, this is when things change from last year. You're going to see that when you hit Next, you're going to be on an off day. And... What you guys want to go to every time is your live practice. Don't do any connections. Don't do any endorsements. And don't if you care about your connections, guys, just don't have any of your connections selected. And then that way you don't actually lose out on any connections. And once you're done grinding, you can actually complete your collections just fine once you're done. Just don't have any selected. So as you guys are going to see, it says next attribute upgrade under live practice and then there's a bar under it as you can see mine's almost full it takes five live practices to fill this bar now luckily guys and then as you can see if you look in the bottom right it says upgrade unlocked now luckily guys you don't actually have to play through the practice once as soon as you walk through that door all you have to do is just hit the start button and then just hit finish practice that's all you have to do the only benefit you really get from playing the practice is temporary attribute upgrades which don't really matter because it doesn't actually help you get towards your upgrade. No matter what guys, it is going to take you five practices to get to your upgrade. So every five practices, you get your upgrade and as you can see right there, I get my 99 overall. Now I am going to be coming out with the best possible build for all the my players this year guys. So. You don't really need to ask down in the comments because there will be videos on the best builds for shooting guards, point guards, small forwards, big men, you name it. I will be putting out those videos very soon. I have a bunch of dudes on Team Witness right now grinding their my players on all different types of positions with what we believe to be the best builds. So once they get their guys maxed out, I will post a video of their builds and let you guys know what the best builds are. Now as you can see just fouled out again. You should foul out within a minute into the second quarter most of the time. If, if you can get five fouls in the first quarter, which is pretty easy if you play a lot of minutes, you'll be pretty good. And then really it just turns into an A spamming fest. Again, as you can see, most of your time is actually spent in the loading screens, watching the post game show that nobody really cares about, and then waiting to get back to the main menu. Now, I'd say that I mean, it just kind of, it kind of depends on how quickly you can get your upgrades. Um, 
luckily there is a lot of back-to-back -back off days sometimes you'll have three off days in a row now once you get towards christmas time on your season and towards the all-star break you'll actually get three sometimes four and then at the all-star break you'll get five off days in a row because once you get to the all-star break you have an off day then you can sim through the all-star break and then you'll have four straight off days as you can see right there just got my final upgrade and guys, if you ever have back-to-back -back games, so if you ever have a point in your season where you have two games back-to-back, -back, you can sim through the first game, but you can't sim through the second game. So what you're going to do is you're just going to hit sim until game. It's then going to sim through that previous game right to the next game. So you really only have to foul out of that one game every time, and then you get right on to your next off day. And as you can see, I max out my player right there. So once again, guys, you cannot sim through the games. You must foul out. But however, if you have back-to-back -back games, you can sim through the first game of the back-to-back. -back. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This being Boy Breeze, a lot of fire videos coming out this year, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You won't regret it. A lot of fire coming out for 2K16 this year. This being Boy Breeze, Witness Gaming, I'm signing out. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace.